Hey guys, it's Jan. Welcome back. So I'm showing you a quick outfit of the day today and I'm heading out to Target. So I guess I'll start with my um, makeup. I have today on my face the Sleek palette. It's the Storm palette from Sleek. And the three colors I have on here, which I don't want to tip over and have everything fall out because some of them are broken now. This is the dark brown I have on the outer edges. This is um, a light tan or taupe that I have in the crease and this is what I have on my lid and it's this really pretty champagne color. Really love this palette so if you can get your hands on it I would recommend it. Really nice formulation. There is some fallout with some of them but I just think overall for the price that it costs for the sleek palette it's totally worth it. Um, on my cheeks today I have NARS Douceur. It's very light. And on my lips today I have Mademoiselle uh, number 05 from Chanel. A beautiful almost brick red color but not too dark so I really love that and um, my lip liner today which I haven't really been using a lip liner lately but I decided to today is the Vincent Longo duo lip pencil in sangria and white glimmer and this is the lip liner part and the white glimmer part is what I put around my lips to make them you know shine a little bit a little bit of um, you know sexy glimmer around the lips um, and that's that. Of course, I have my Ben Nye Banana Powder, and I've also been using my Bare Minerals Well Rested as well. And in my inner waterline, I have um, NARS Rue Bonaparte. My hair, um, I just washed last night, so it's kind of poofy. So I'm hoping that will, um, you know, settle down. A product I've been using, which I forgot to grab from my shower, is the Chi Silk Infusion. I've been using that lately, and I fell in love with it all over again. I think it's just a really great product. So I meant to show you that, but I forgot. But it's been keeping my hair very, very silky. And I've been kind of letting my hair do its own thing lately. I noticed this last cut, my hair has, a, a since this last cut rather, my hair has a different kind of wave to it. Like I have a little bit of a wave over here I never had before. And no matter how much I flatten it out with the flat iron, it just wants to do that little wave, which is okay. I mean, I don't mind it. You know, it's just doing its own thing. So I don't know if you guys find that with certain cuts sometimes um, it does that. I did get a couple more layers cut into it, so that's probably why. But not really over here, so I don't know why I got this wave. But anyway, so um, that's my hair. My glasses today, of course, are my aviators, which you guys, you know, have seen. They're my trusty aviators. I just love them. And as far as accessories with jewelry, I have um, my Century 21 leather cuff on. This bracelet, which I don't know if I've ever shown you guys before, I don't wear it too much, but I found a way to make it tighter on my wrist, so that's probably why you'll see it a little bit more now, because it was always loose. This is from Jewel Mint, and this is the Savoy bracelet. It's just got really pretty gray crystals, um, and I love it. It's just a real nice statement bracelet, as well as this one. This is also from Jewel Mint, and this is called the Roma bracelet. So I really love that. And on this hand today, or wrist rather, I have my David Smolcom bracelets, my Henry Bendel bangle, my diesel watch, and my Philippe Odebert bracelets. Um, and these earrings, which are from uh, Jewel Mint, I just got these in. Um, I just got them, rather, I should say. And these are called the Steampunk earrings. I'm sorry, my hair's in the way. These are called Steampunk. And I think these are just really pretty, versatile earrings that you can wear with just about anything. Um, as far as the outfit today, I wanted to wear this polka dot blouse. I just got it, I, you know, maybe about a month ago. I showed you in a haul. And I got this from Francesca's collection. And underneath, I have a silk black camisole. And my jeans I got, and these I just got recently. And these are from Marshalls. And these were like $14.99. And I needed um, skinny black jeans that came down to my ankles without being, um, see, I can't really show you, but um, instead of having them really bunched up at my ankles, like a lot of my black jeans tend to do because I'm really so short, the inseam on these seemed a little bit shorter, so I picked them up and they were cheap. And I think the brand is Celebrity Pink, if I'm not mistaken. They're just a no-name brand, but, you know, just skinny black pants, and I can't have enough of those. Um, and my shoes today are um, my Prada pointy um, flats, which I love because there's one thing I've noticed through a lot of the fashion shows that I've been catching up on or when I was there last week is that a lot of the flat shoes are pointy this season. So uh, just something to keep in mind. If you wanted to follow a trend, which I would never really recommend following a trend, 
but pointy shoes I don't think ever really go out of style they always you know tend to come back and I've had these for maybe about six years now so um, they were you know popular back then when I got them and then you know Tori Birch came out with her rounded toe and a lot of you know shoes followed suit but the pointy toe is back so just to let you know that and um, bag today I'm not sure what I'm gonna take I really love this one for the pop of color the red with the you know the white and the black with actually this is more like a cream but um, I love that oh and I forgot I just realized I have my leopard belt on which I like the juxtaposition of the leopard and the polka dots I think that's just a really neat kind of um, unique way of mixing some patterns so got leopard and polka dots but I really like the red bag with this because I love the color but the bag that's ready to go is the bag I used yesterday um, sorry I have to get it is my Rebecca Minkoff Mac which I think also goes with this too just a little bit more subdued um, so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna switch out if I'm gonna switch out of this rather or if I'm gonna use this one I'm not sure let me know what you think let me know what you think looks really good and my fragrance today is Burberry, um, the classic, original. And my nails today are um, painted this color. It's by Revlon. It's a real pretty color. And you know, I'm a big fan of Revlon nail polishes. And this one is number 730 in Valentine. So I really like this. It's just a real pretty, um, you know me, I love the dark colors on me. So it's like a really pretty dark um red but it's almost like um, like a velvet red if I had to describe it not that velvet's describing anything that's describing a texture but if I had to name this instead of Valentine I would say velvet red I don't know just like what you would see crushed velvet like for a little girl's holiday dress you would see this color and I love it so it's just really pretty so I hope that was an accurate description however weird that was um, and that is it so I will see you guys soon leave me a comment what you think real quick if you can if you see this before I leave the house what bag you think I should take I think that would be neat to hear your comments and I will see you very very soon bye guys